In this video, we're going to be looking at progress. Progress, if you haven't seen circular progress, maybe you're going in a linear fashion, although I do videos and series piecemeal. Um, progress is just a way to show what the status is of maybe loading a service, where something is in the program. And it's a nice way to give your end user some information because otherwise, you know, if you ordered food, updated a check to be deposited into a bank, you know, all that important stuff, they may be left standing there like, um, did it work? Did it go through? Am I getting my food? Am I getting a confirmation email? Like what is going on here? So progress is really cool for, you know, maybe processes that are a bit longer, but you should always think of it's better to give the end user I wouldn't say like a plethora of information because you don't want overload, but where you can, you know, you want to show them where they're at in a process. So what we're going to do is look at the docs. We're going to get to coding. If you just heard that weird random vibration, that was my tablet. I don't know what's going on with technology around me today. So let's just get to the docs. So we see progress is used to display the progress status for a task that takes a long time or consists of several steps. So even though I said, you know, uploading something or you know, whatnot, you know, I'm thinking of stuff like, you know, I've ordered Domino's pizza and it's like, Larry, put your pizza in the oven. Stephanie is checking on it in the oven right now. Now, you know, Loretta is driving it to you or, you know, something random like that. And I think a lot of that is just, you know, made up names, but I think with progress, you could also use it for going through like a survey. You could use it going through some kind of questionnaire. So it doesn't always have to be this giant network thing of, you know, some some giant task where you're using money. You can use it for smaller stuff as well. So we're bringing it in right here, import progress, awesome. This is progress, value 80. If we wanted to put it at 100, it'd be maxed out. Zero, it'd be, you know, we'd have this light, you know, bluish gray, whatever background all the way through. And then we could also do it with the stripe. I think uh, the hash stripe attribute or the prop, I kind of switched those two out, is pretty cool there. You'll want to make sure that the, the stripe doesn't jive with any of the kind of styles you have. But I've seen ones that have stripes on them, and I think it's kind of cool. You know, it's not going to make me like your product, you know, a million times better. But, you know, I could I could enjoy it. I could, you know, like understand why people want to switch it up. And so we could go on to progress sizes here. And it says there are two ways to increase the height of a progress bar. You could add size, but you could also use the height prop. So we see size, small, medium, and large. Those are the three for the size you could enter in here. But with height, if you want to do a bit more customization, which Chakra is all about, you could slap a big old fat 32XP or XP, PX in there. Maybe it is experience points. I don't know. Maybe this bar is for experience points, whatever it is. And you could just, you know, use that to make it a bit thicker here. You could also add color here. So we have the value 20, okay, the small, extra small, so it's really thin. But we have the color scheme pink in here. And, you know, if you want to do blue, that was a gray alpha or, or whatever those other colors are, you can feel free to add the color scheme in here. Now, just like the circular progress, we have this is indeterminate here. So maybe during part of the, the steps, the network call, something goes on where the front end is like, oh, what the, I'm, I don't really know what's going on here. And so this is a way you could switch this between true and false. So if you lose maybe some connectivity, you don't know what's going on for the brief moment, you could you know slap this in right here. It's moving. And then maybe you want to add some text that comes in when this goes to you know, a indeterminate state that says, you know, network issues or network is busy, you know, hold on, we're processing your payment. And then down here we have accessibility. It says progress has a role to set progress bar to denote that it is a progress. And it says progress has aerial va area value now set to the percentage completion value passed to the component to ensure the progress percent is visible to screen readers. So whatever you know value you have in there, it will be picked up by screen readers, which is super nice. And then we have some of these props down below. Feel free to look over them, use them, practice. But I feel like coding, so uh, let's get to coding. So what we're going to look at now is progress in action. And what we're going to do in the first uh, section of this here, because this, this is just a really small example, 
is create a bunch of progress bars at different you know values, links, all the other stuff. And then we're gonna add this indeterminate thing. If you've already been through the circular progress video, you kind of know what's coming. So let's go ahead and let's get to coding. So as you can see here, we have these uh, progress bars right here, and they're a little jammed together, and that's going to be okay for now. Let's actually go ahead and, you know what? Let me just reduce this all down to, I'll split them up like this. Let's uh, just put breaks in between and just do a, a really easy uh, way of separating these out. All right, now we have all these separated here. And when you do about like 68 of these code snippets, sometimes you forget what some of them look like and you come back and you're like, what was I thinking? So the next thing we can add in here, add in here is has stripe. What does that do? Well, let's go ahead and type it out. So has stripe is exactly how it sounds. And that means that it's got this almost looks like a straw. It's like this, um, light blue and then this angled dark blue on again off again kind of thing but that's not all we could do here we could actually change the size of these progress lines bars if you will so we can see that the extra small is extremely small i don't think i would want to use this one I think small is about as tiny as I would go. We could go all the way up to large, but you see that we have size large right here and we have it twice. If we wanted to go larger than this though, there is one way we could go around this. And there we have, we got, we got a th real thick one right there, right? And if you don't like the blue, we could always come in and change the colors as well. So you can see all these now are different colors, which is pretty sweet. And the last thing we're going to do, and I'm going to do it on this last example right here, is say you don't know how far you are. Say you're at 90%, but there's a connectivity issue. There's some service that's screwing up somewhere. Maybe an intern blew something away, and you can't now tell the end user, are we at 93? Are we at 99? Is the process over yet? You could come in here and type is indeterminate. Hopefully I said that right. It's kind of a weird word to say. And now it's just flashing right on by right here, which is pretty cool. It's out of the box. You don't have to do anything here other than type this and it's giving you that. And so in theory, you could have some other kind of state that's checking for is this indeterminate. And if it is, you could present some text below that says, uh, we apologize. There's some connectivity issues or errors you know, we're attempting to fix them right away to, you know, progress your service. And so this is how you could use progress in a nutshell. Um, if you like this stuff, um, like, share, and subscribe to my videos. I appreciate y'all coming to watch this stuff, and I'll see y'all in the next one.